Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet, the Teal Mask. Last time we went around and fought and found two of the signboards with our friend Kieran. This time we're going to go to his house and get ready to go uh, and participate in the festival. Oh nice. And we also have Wicked Delta hanging out with us. He's in the chat. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go to... Uh, the home of... Kieran and... Carmine. Oh, Wicked Delta, if you stream or anything, you can leave your links in the chat. We, we support uh, everyone being able to support them, uh, to promote themselves. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Welcome home, Kieran. And who's this with you? Oh, um, this is Natsume. She's part of the same school trip as me and Sis. Oh, so this is a new friend of yours, eh, Kieran? I am. Uh, what? We're... Really? We're friends? For friends I, I feel all tingly and funny hearing that. <laughs> Thank you for befriending our Kieran here, not Sme. Oh! Kieran has made a friend? Yeah. This is Natsume. Natsume, this is my grandma. Well, fancy that. A friend of Karen's. We're delighted to have you, Natsume. Oh my. Is it already sundown? Goodness me, I'd nearly forgotten. The festival masks start tonight, doesn't it? Come now, Kieran, you too, Natsume. I'll get some Jinbei for you both so you can go to the festival all gussied up. Hear that? We get to dress up in Jinbei. Yay! Now, now, don't go running off just yet. We have to do your hair too. There we are, all done. Ooh. Well. It suits you mighty fine. Just as I thought it would. Goodness. It looks like I've gained another granddaughter. <laughs> I imagine a young stylish thing like yourself could make use of the is this too, not to me? Teal style card. Uh, what does that do? Having one of these cards increases selections available to you in boutiques and hair salons. Ah. I can play about two to three hours if you start at five o'clock your time. Oh, 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 for, for Need for Speed, yeah. Yeah, um... Yeah, well, uh, I'll talk to Kitsune about that, yeah. 
That sounds cool. Having that card should open up all sorts of shop new looks for you in the big city shops and salons. Hey Gran, did you know where my God What are you doing here? Natsume said she go to the festival of masks with me. Oh really? Is that so? What does it matter anyway? What are you doing back here? Alright, oh, Gran, I couldn't find my mask for the festival. And the masks, they should be in the shed. I put them there after last year's festival. It shouldn't be locked. So the three of you could rummage around and see what you find. Alright, to the shed. First, there, first one there wins. Wait, sis, you're such a cheater. Please forgive those two, Natsume. They can be a bit rambunctious. There's gonna be another one! Oh, sis, Natsume's here. She's rolling up like you own the place. It looks like there's only two masks in the shed. Too bad, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Guess you should go without a mask. First come, first serve, and all that. Uh, it's fine. Come now, don't look so glum. How about instead of a mask, I'll give you a battle in style, festival style. You just want to battle me, don't you? You could just say that. Come on, get in position. All right, it's round two. We're uh, Carmine starts up with Becca. Feel free to be dazzled by how great I look in my gym day. I wouldn't if you get distracted. I mean, sure, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, lady. Oh, yeah, this thing is like dark type. It's Angie. It's so very Angie. Oh, we use the general chat. Like the, uh, uh, casual chat in Discord. And if you're not a, if you're listening to this, watching this video, and you're not in Discord. Yeah, now let's use Diva.
I wasn't paying attention. What? Oh, Swadloon. I was like, what's she sending out? Swadloon. Um. Oh well, it's not like beating you is going to cause another mask to magically appear. Now then, let me get my mask. How's that? Look good, don't I? It's okay, Natsumi. You can wear my mask. What? No! I already said first come first serve! Besides, that's your ogre mask. You've always loved that mask. Yeah, but no buts about it. Now so can get her own mask at the festival. She's fine. Now, move it. Let's go. Uh, sorry, Natsume. I know my sis seems kind of harsh, but she's really not all that bad. Actually, she was tearing apart the, t uh, the shed, trying to find a third mask before you got there. Oh, but don't tell her I told you that. The festival of masks is held up at Kitsukami Hall. We should probably get going. Go heal first, and then we'll... Yeah, so you should be able to... Chat. Be able to just like you know, type away. Yeah, I don't know if there's any other restrictions. Like the only thing I uh, had it where is like you just have to um, get the full tour. I don't know if there was like a requirement. I don't think there's requirements to setting like any uh like your Discord up or anything. I mean that uh, your Discord like connecting your Discord to your Twitch or anything. I don't think that's the thing. If it is. Just make, like, make sure to check all your settings and all that. I'm glad that we got our new uh, uniform. Uh, I was actually waiting for us to be able, uh, be able to cha uh, change clothes.
This is the Festival of Masks. Today's just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. I bet you don't have any festivals like this big over in Paldea where you are. True. Haha, <laughs> knew it. See, Kitsukami is just as good as any of your big city, big shiny cities. Why do you feel like you have such an animosity towards us? I don't understand that. It, it's okay, Natsume. Just ignore her. I also have a photo of you so you can remember this amazing night. Give me a rotosick for a second. Come on, you two. Scooch in closer. Ow, you're stepping on my toes, sis. Oh, stop complaining. This will only take a second. Okay. Are you all ready? Say Chansey. And that's what I call a vest uh, nice festival vibe. The festival of masks is held so we can honor the loyal three, the brave heroes of Kitakami. The loyal three are Pokemon. Oh, I mean, we know that. <laughs> Most of the kids wear the loyal three, like me. Did I mention? Uh, yes. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. I was just thinking it's funny that like you don't know anything about the ogre What I know the legends of Kitakami better than anyone Pretty gutsy of you to laugh at your big sis Sorry Kiki's still a little baby, so of course he thinks there's some kind of some terrible monster school he likes the ogre more than the loyal three. Oh, they've got candy apples. Let's go check out the stalls. Oh, they got shaved ice. Ooh, fried noodles. Neat. Oh, I love that the shaved, like, all this stuff is stuff that you can actually use to, uh, better your stats and whatnot. Excuse me. T two candy apples, please. You got it. Two candy apples coming right up. Uh, here. Not to me. You can have one. Oh, thanks. Grandma me gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know. Grandma's always just making us mochi as a snack. There's even a Pokemon in Katsukami that looks like a little old candy apple. Did you know that? Hey, let's check that out over there. Oh yeah, where's her, like, partner? I just thought about that. I'm like, we did come here with, um, other people. Where's, like, shouldn't she have one of, uh, our teammates as, uh... Or one of the people we came here with as a uh, uh, her partner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Step right up for a game of Ogre Austin. So you want to give it a go? Sure. Hey, you're one of those kids that came... Oh, it's a lady. Pfft, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, you're going to try it, Natsume? I, I'll cheer you on from a safe distance. Pfft. You're up for a run of Ogre Austin, huh? I did one just now. It's pretty easy for me, that is. My score is 6,390. Think you can do better? Go get her, Natsume. I have no idea what we're doing, but we're gonna do it. Oh, it's this. Ogre Austin is a traditional game that has been played in Masoi Town since long ago. Gather up lots of berries and bring them to the tables and earn yourself a high score. The playing field is dotted with ogre balloons in four different colors. Pop these balloons to collect the berries inside. Ah, okay. Alright. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter how many I get, right? We can just get an extra. Alright, well, whatever. I'll get as many as I want. Yeah. Oh, but that does, like, mess up our space. This is really easy, I like it though.
just in a... Oh, but I see. They're gonna increase it on you, so like... You're gonna have to like... Go back and forth. And... Oh, and then, that's right, this is where we get the mochi from, yeah. Ah. We get other stuff from there, okay, cool. XP charm. What does that do? Oh, cool. Wait, what? I wasn't paying attention to her score. Wasn't it like 3,000 something? Maybe it wasn't 3,000. I thought it was. <laughs> I don't remember how much she, she had. I don't know. There was something that was over here. Hey, hello. Mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. Are you enjoying the festival? Panyo! Hey Nasume, listen to this, it's nuts! Kiki's no use at all. Zero talent for Alsi ogres, I'll tell you that. Hey, who was that? It's not to me, you shouldn't run off on your own. Hey, new kid, that goes for you too. <laughs> oh. Just come back. The mountain's all dangerous at night. Well, we found the name of the game. Hooray! Teal Mask. A teal mask pattern after the face of Ogre. Ogre Pawn dropped it while fleeing. Really? 
Really? We just gonna give that one away? All right, whatever. <laughs> While fleeing up the stairs after visiting the ve festival mask. Who was that? And where did that kid come from? Uh, I think it was a Pokemon. Because the game just told me. What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean the kid uh, we just ran off? Is dead just ran off? Could it have been the ogre from the story on all the signboards? Are you saying that the story was true? I mean, they did just drop their mask, so they really must be. Uh, uh, Natsume, sis! What are you guys doing over here? Oh, you know, just bumping into ogres and stuff. Hey! Wait! Stop, 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 stop! Uh, what? Why are you yelling all of a sudden, sis? Nothing! It's nothing. You wouldn't be interested in it at all, I swear. Girl things! Huh? Oh, I get it. You were making fun of me behind my back. I'm just gonna head back to the festival now. Yeah, at least he didn't figure out what we were really talking about. Don't scare me like that. Babbling, blabbing for the whole world to fear? Here? Don't you have a filter? See, Kiki really likes that ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. So if he found out we seen the ogre without, without him, I guess he would be afraid. I guess he would... I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? Feel left out or something. Am I the overthinking it? Besides, I don't want him running up to the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. Well, in any case, you already lied about it, and that's that. Let's keep this whole thing between us, okay? And hold off showing Kiki that mask until you pick. You just picked up too. I mean, I was gonna wear it. But whatever. Alright, where's our date at? Yo, Karen. Where you at, Fran? I just realized I I should I want I want to wear a yukata. Is that a mask based on the... Oh no, it's off the one of the Pokemon, okay. Hey. Hee hee, there's this festival so much fun. Nothing. And absolutely nothing weird happened, right? <laughs> you don't have to coach me, I understand. I get it. And enough of the festival? Yeah, I'm sure. I, there's nothing else I can do here. Well then, guess we should head home. I'll walk you back to the community center. Oh, look at him, he's such a gentleman. Walking us, making sure we get home safe. The next day. Oh, I meant to talk to our friends. Um, maybe we should go do that. Well, pfft, I, I, it might be a little too late. It might be a cutscene now. I didn't check up on our, uh, our companions. There you are, Natsume! Just because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you're going to get to keep me waiting. So, uh, you see, I wanted to talk to you a bit. You haven't told anybody about, you know, the thing that happened last night. Nope. You know, better not be lying. If I found out you were black, I'm gonna make you swallow a whole coffin. Whoa, whoa, chill. You still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows a lot about the village history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. You know where my house is, right? See you there. Don't keep me waiting. I'll show Grandpa the thing, you know, we found. Okay. All 
Alright, well, well, before that, let's go check on our um, traveling friends. Do they get... Oh, they're not here anymore. Oh, never mind. I thought they were still going to be standing there when we got... Uh, okay, well, maybe they went to explore. Did they get to go to the festival? Oh, wait. Uh, Ian's here. Hi, Ian. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like he's getting much done. Let's, uh, find out what Ricky and Jasmine are doing. Um... Uh, wait, you and he, we live in Paldea. Bruh. Paldea's kind of warm, don't you think? <laughs> we went from warm to warm. Something smells really good. I would like some. Whatever it is. Let's show Grandpa, you know, the thing we found? Good morning to you, Natsume. Hey, Natsume, good morning. <sighs> Wanna go see the last signboard? Kiki, go find some, uh, some uh, place. Jeez, that's mean. Natsume's got business with me. Um. Uh, seriously? She's spending her time with you? It's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. What did you call me? <laughs> What's this deal? Kiki should know better than that and talk back to me like that. That's enough, Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. I was being kind. It's not like I hit him or anything. Mm. Anyway, we got more important things to discuss. Right now, Sime? Come on. You gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. Okay. Could this be... This mask... It belonged to the poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it, the ogre, I mean. Yesterday at the Festival of Mask. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but it dropped the mask and... yeah. Hmm. I never would have thought that the ogre would have still be gracing our festivals with its presence. Huh? What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. I suppose it's time I told you, Carly. You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. The other way around? What do you mean? You should hear this too, Natsume. You also met the poor ogre, or Ogabon, as it is rightly named. Let me tell you the story as passed down through our family's generations. Uh -oh. This is going to be a bit of a story to tell, is that alright? This story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth, and I've learned it from my father. It's a story of truth. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of it to others. Okay. A long, long time ago, a man and ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre, who looked so different from them. 
and they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly into a cave in the mountain. There was one villager who pitied the two travelers. The villager's mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works adorned with gems the man brought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the mask, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festivals. The mysterious pair became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors of an exquisite, shining mask attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ochre lived. They tried to make off with the masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. The, po the Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found his beloved home in ruin. All that was left was signs of a struggle in a teal mask. The ogre donned the mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for his friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over the stolen masks, and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening. No why. All they saw was a raging ogre, and they fell to great fear. The villagers thought that the three Pokemon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three and interred with them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to his cave alone with great sadness. Well, did the man die? Jeez. That's terrible. Okapon did not deserve that. And the loyal three would- They are the worst. Story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of truth. They gotta hear about this. Calm yourself down, Karma. I already told you. Just keep it to yourself. But Grandpa. The villagers believe their own versions of history. They revere the loyal three. So how would it- how would they react to being told that they've been- they all got it wrong? they probably get angry? Exactly. Back when it, this first occurred, the mass maker, that is to say our ancestors, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But no one would take him seriously, in fact. It was- it said that he was persecuted as a heretic. Ooh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he 
kept the truth alive, passed it down from generation to generation as a family secret. I see. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't know. I've certainly never spoken to him about it. What do you ask? I don't know. He just seems like he... seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. He's been trying to one-up me as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Well, I can't say what's going on with the boy, but he always was sen a sensitive child. It would not surprise me if he somehow intuited the truth. I promise to tell Kirin the whole story when the time is right. Until then, take care not to breathe a word of it to, uh, of truth to anyone. Okay, Grandpa. Now I really can't tell Kiki that we met the ogre. About that mask you showed me, I noticed it. The jewel upon its forehead is chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a while? Oh, huh? Maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs. Since Grandpa's offering, let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it to Ogre Pond. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to get take good care of this. the whole thing. I want to see Ogre Pond again, but getting his mask fix will uh, have to come first. For now, we should carry on with the orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing some time in, somewhere in town. Alright, time to go meet up with our, uh, Kieran, our date from last night. Ah, there he is. Hello! Uh, oh! Hey, Natsume! So, as I was gonna ask, what were you and my sis just, uh, talking about? Uh, this and that, I guess. Oh, I see. So, about those signs, the last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Barrens, on the other side of Oni Mountain. We need to get... We'll need to head over to the mountain and down towards the northwest. You can go up ahead. I'll catch up. Why? Why did you lie to me? go back to Oni Mountain. Was there a way we could just get there? Or do we have to climb again? Uh, Loyalty Plaza. Hmm. I guess we didn't uh, get a thing. Okay. 
Bob. battle her last time, let's battle her again. I really am enjoying the lore that we're getting from all this. Hey, it's a Lolan transition. Switch blades out of the lead. Now, oh, back in the lead, go Shiva, I suppose. Um... Hey, hey! Thank you for the follow, look at Delta. Welcome to the Ninjana Clan. Appreciate you. It's good to have you here. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Um, uh, yeah, sure, whatever. We can have. Uh, Are you playing Unbound and you're watching me? Oh, that's awesome! Thank you for your support, friend. I really appreciate you. Let's just keep going this way. find interesting about this point, uh, if you don't know, is this point uh, bouncing up and down 
or continuously bouncing, you know what I mean? um, is the way for it to keep his heart beating. Because if it stops bouncing, it will die. <laughs> so that's um, terrifying. I love that Pokemon has that type of lore, though. Like, some Pokemon do function in certain ways. And, uh... That's how, uh... Hey, a common shard, nice! The way that Spoink functions is that, uh... Has to continuously bounce. Save. Just because I've been experiencing the slowdown and all that, and I don't wanna wanna run into any issues. Need for call. Oh hey, a hound down. We can run into this like normal base game. Like, the cave, if you go back to the cave where you, um, fire, first find, uh, Koridon, uh, you can go back in there and catch, uh, Hound Hours, and, uh, I think the Hound Doom, Hound Dooms are in there as well. I love that we're running into all these, like, Coke balls and stuff. Crystal pool, right? I forgot where we were going. <laughs> we're gonna go here anyways if we're here. I know why it's called the Crystal Pool. It has the same crystals from, you know, the Area Zero. You know, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but like that giant. Um, crystal in Anastar Town. I wonder if that has to do with this. Dang, that's a level 70 Bronzor. Okay. I 
I mean, because... You know... I know the whole thing of, you know, Kalos was like, Mega Evolution, and then, you know, there was this, you know, the Anastars, um, like, Crystal was kind of there to signi uh, signify that, but, like, what if the two things are that far apart from each other? You know, crystallization and, uh, evolving further? I could see them being connected somehow. Alright, well, we'll just go with the wrong button. What we needed was not up here. It was up. Uh... This feels kind of similar. Did I just run into a shiny? I ran into a shiny glimmer. What? What? Hey, y'all. That good. Ugh. Definitely switching out to something that resists that. Actually, I could have switched to Tifa too, because Tifa should resist anything. Use. Oh, wait, well, it's point poison type. That would also uh, be a problem. Come on. Caught a shiny glimmer. Nice. I need to learn how to stop pressing the wrong button. saving cuz that was cool I can found oh let me run in a slugma I'm just sitting here and gabbing my gums and I run into a shiny gim uh, glimmet that's awesome We don't have to come up here yet, but now that we've come up here, we, uh, we've got ourselves a flying uh, spot. Oh. 
gold. Nice. Chilling water head, okay. Disperse. My goo. Um, I'm not sure if I want to hear about your goo. It doesn't sound sanitary. Air cutter, nice. I thought that was Kabuto. I was like, what the heck is Kabuto doing up there? Kabuto just kill chilling. Oh. Hey, Thunderbolt. Nice. Look, it's Quagsire. Shout out to Tom Fox. <laughs> He's so cute. Critical capture on that Quagsire, let's go. Yeah, so Quagsire for anyone curious since I'm a generation 2 boy uh, Wooper and Quagsar were my introductions to what are ground types and is the reason why I will always uh, vouch for water ground types Awkward angle. <laughs> I'm practically making out with Barrascuda right now. Oh god! <laughs> Chillin', chillin', that's good. It's good to see you. For those of you on YouTube land, if you don't know Andrew, Andrew's a wonderful friend here uh, that we have in the Nibble Shadow Clan. He streams things like Farming Simulator and Animals. He's a cool streamer and a, co a cool friend that we have. 
Go check him out. I will stop pressing the wrong button. Here we go. Yeah, so Andrew, we're, if you're just, yeah, since you're just joining us, we're um, currently playing the DLC of Pokemon. I have a good time. Uh, Bellhorn Gorge. Nice. I have no idea where that is, but yeah. We've been exploring a uh, chilling uh, waterhead. So far we've run into Quagsire and a couple of uh, new phases. Hey, wait, is this where we went? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, but I don't think we went out. Oh wait, we just went out that door. How many badges I got? Oh, I beat the game. This is the, the DLC, like after gross game. Oh, that's right, Andrew, you do have Scarlet as well. I just remembered that. Did you beat the game and get the DLC? I know why I keep pressing the wrong button. Is it? Oh, we're supposed to be up there. Eh, okay. Oh well, if that's the case, then I can just fly there from the top of the mountain. Um, from the top of the mountain. I was very confused about where I was going, but we explored a new, like a, a different cave though. That's neat. I wonder if there's gonna be something in there later. One of the six wonders of Kitakami, the Crystal Pool. So good, so dynamic. Uh, I mean, that's one way to get to the map. Map. Okay, yeah. We. Ruffs down here. Oh, oh, Andrew, yeah, we, we caught a shiny glimmet like not too long ago. That's freaking awesome. Paradise Barrens. 
Hmm, I wonder why it's called that. I mean, I know it's... I mean... It's barren, so, I mean, I can figure one part out, but, like... Hmm... Was it once a paradise? That's an interesting question. Jangmo. Can I show some love and praise for this little Pokemon? I love that it becomes a dragon fighting type. And it's really fast too. This was definitely on my team when I played uh, uh, Sun and Moon the first time. Wild Charge. Wild Charge. Hey, there's another Earthworm if we want to go inside and see if we can catch one. Get ourselves a Nose Pass. You give Nose Pass a Metal Coat, I think, and that's how you evolve this thing. There aren't too many Pokemon that use Metal Coat to evolve, so I think that's how you evolve um, this Pokemon. But I don't remember. Off, off the top of my head, that sounds right. Here's Gligar, which evolves into one of the best Pokemon. One of the best Pokemon, Gliscor. Generation 3 and then also Generation 4, I mean, that's what we, we, me and Kissing always agree that, like, you can't get any better than those two gems, because, like, introduce new Pokemon, introduce new types, introduce the, uh, special and physical brand, uh, uh, special and physical split. Yeah, give me that Gligar. If you were able to get yourself a Razor Claw, I think that's it. Yeah, Ra is it Razor Claw? Yeah, Razor Claw. And trade it or evolve it? Or like train it one level? I think it's train it one level? I'm thinking. You can get yourself a. Uh, get yourself a. Um, A Glacier, Blah. Alright, let's try and get this earth form again. Catch it just to see what Shed Tail does, because I have no idea. I don't think Earthworm had moved before, and if it did, I just it maybe it didn't have it. Maybe I didn't, you know, uh, see it because it gets it at a higher level or something. Let's 
try the timer ball. Yeah. Why? Why do these things, like, stupid to catch? I don't get it. Alright, well, whatever. I'm not gonna... I don't need to make it vain or anything. I can just be... Since it doesn't have any interest in coming with me. <laughs> Everything else has been been like, oh, okay, well, I'll come. As much as I love aimlessly running around and looking for looking for stuff, I also would like to find what we're looking for, so. Uh. Ah, here we go. There's a sign as well. Unremarkable teacup. Well, I wonder how I hmm. I wonder who's that <laughs> for? Hmm. These are the Paradise Barons. Pretty lonely uh, place, huh? According to legend, the ogre used to be seen around your lots. Hey, before we check out the sign, could you battle me? Sure. Okay, let me help your Pokemon. This time I win. Hey, still got his John. I want to win. I want to win. So I got this. this. I'm not sure what type it is. Surf bomb. Ow. Oh, interesting. So 
That makes me slower. Okay, it is dragon type or some sort of type. Oh no, I can't keep up. I love the haze of polygraph. It's great. Oh, he's going back to his fur, which I guess would be his, uh, ace. I don't know who can Why? Why does it have to be like this? Why? Dream punch? It's all because I'm too weak. I I lost. It's all because I'm weak. That's why I. We should go check the sign. Come on, let's get this over with. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you uh, outside the village at twilight, be very wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and when a, whatever the shadow is, man or monster, you will pass each other by as fellow mask wearers. If you show me them the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day, and you will remember to never forget your mask again. But if the if it's the ogre, you will meet your end, as do all humans who face whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit, and you shall never return to the village. In the old days, everyone carried masks whenever they went, and the one who made the masks was actually my great 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 grandpa's great 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 grandpa or something. That's amazing. I mean, I don't think it's any of that stuff is of the ogre stealing souls is true or anything, but it is true that our family used to make masks. Our family has a long line of mask makers. Even my grandpa can make it. I even heard that there that's the whole reason we hold the festival of masks is because of our ancestors came up with the idea. But I don't really like what they wrote on this sign here. Just because the ogre seems sort of scary, everyone got afraid and drove it away from the village. But I'm pretty sure the ogre must be lonely on its own. Left all alone like that? Treat like some kind of outcast? Sorry. For what? Wanna take that last photo? Well, we're all done with our assignment now. But I gotta get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm gonna get it home. Uh, bye? Uh, 
All right. I know we're rather to take a rest anyway, but it, yeah. It's okay that, you know, this is the. Uh. Pokemon Center Lady. Um. Yeah. Alright. So we uh, were able to find the last. Uh. Signpost and learn more about Ogre Pond in the Loyal Three. And learn that the the story is flipped, uh, which is fun. I love I love that little twist. It's kind of it does fit like Japanese stories to a T, which I like. Um, all right. Next time we're gonna find out more about Ogre Pond and how we can do more and figure out what's going on with Kieran. I mean, we know that Kieran heard everything, so, I mean, it's only a matter of time before he, we get confronted about it. So, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Alright, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you check all the links in the bio. I mean, the description. Bye. -bye. Uh, to support your boy. Alright. Take care of yourself.